Hello there fellow armchair generals <clears throat> and welcome to another episode of Grand Tactician Civil War. It is June the 12th, 1863 and uh, we've just beaten uh, the enemy at, uh, not sure which fort, Kearney. Um, but yeah, they again are below 100, uh, I mean 200,000 men. So we outnumber them like 50%. Um, I'm not gonna talk much about uh, this part, our economy is doing well, it seems like much better than the uh, unions. Now here's another issue, um, there's an army here, army of the border, 12,000 men, they've taken over the supply depot and all that, seems like it. So I'm gonna send Robert Lee up here with the rail, um, river movement, yeah we'll just go up, take the rail. Um, hmm. I don't know where this army has uh, retreated, that we've just beaten it. So we're gonna stay here for a while, we're low on ammunition, but uh, morale is high and all that. Uh, I'm also gonna wait, sterling price is gonna wait here as well. Is this ours? Yeah, everything is ours. I hope that this state, state of um, Nebraska is gonna flip to our side now that we hold all the points and I mean all the cities and everything. I'm not sure if that's actually in the game. But uh, yeah, nothing else is new. Uh, in the east still waiting for an enemy attack. Uh, they do uh, have quite a lot of forces here. Projects wise, we are close to military railroad. So 0.6 million, we're definitely gonna take that to lower our cost of supplies and the warrior class is at uh, 19, close to 20 million. Uh, we're still waiting for the banks to be finished, then we're gonna subsidize banks. Nothing new in... Um... Wait, where could we spend the industry on? Just a second. Mm, that's military, that's diplomacy, industry. We could subsidize the industry again. Um, We'll see, maybe I'm gonna build something new, maybe another factory, um, or maybe we're gonna upgrade something. But anyway, that's um, pretty much it for the intro on this one. We'll see what happens up here, but I definitely need to bring Johnston, um, I mean sorry, Sterling Price, into the area, to Quincy. Uh, then we can again shore up um, uh, the Missouri and the enemy forces in this area. Uh, we're still building a supply depot here. Oh, finally! What are we gonna give you? Probably foot cavalry. Forced march speed is up, attrition goes down. Can we do anything with supplies? Puntoon trains, supply efficiency plus 10. Mm, Separate miners, land torpedoes, partisan brigades. That's me. Skirmishing efficiency, we don't need that, lame lights either, scouts, intelligence gathering plus 25, level up by scouting, mm. new, intelligence gathering and movement speed goes up, we could give them balloons, intelligence gathering up by 10, balloon core, Order delays plus 25, intelligence gathering plus 25. You know what, we're gonna give them the balloon. Because there's a lot of enemy armies uh, here, they're constantly on the move, more or less, so we need more uh, intelligence in the area. So we're gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna move on and uh, hopefully we're gonna engage something uh, soon. Interesting. Army of the West, 8,000 men. Army of the Potomac, 20,000 all together, they're marching down. We're building a supply depot here, so we're gonna stay put. Army of uh, Kentucky is still put uh, up there on the on the north. Nothing new in the east, um, but a few things on the west. So, oh, I guess we overtook this uh, army. I'm moving on towards Queen C. Um, and um, nothing happened here even though, I don't know, maybe they don't see them, find them, whatever, it's all open field. Um, Sterling Price moved on the second core and we just do not uh, engage them at all. 
Uh, Army of the Alabama is moving to supply uh, area, plus I gave them an additional uh, cavalry unit with uh, Maynard Carbines, the best we can ha actually have now, quick shooters, 300 yards only, but uh, something... Oh! Oh, that's the French intervention. Interesting. But yeah, something to... Um, have a bit more oomph on the battlefield because the cavalry in such a small battles do make a big difference. So yeah, the plan is to get um, the um, Union out of uh, the West and uh, kind of hold this part. St. Louis, Quincy, Dave Port, Davenport um, and yeah, we're gonna see what happens from then on. So let's move on. Ha! Huh. Seems like we managed to catch them. They only have less than 15,000 men. We have 39,000. It's again Bull, uh, William Bull, uh, versus our Sterling Price. So let's go and uh, drive them off the field. Battle of Omaha City, Des Moines, uh, RR, Iowa, June the 17th, 1863. I've already started the battle. <clears throat> it's pretty simple. We have to defend this point. It's just one single major line. The enemy is gonna come down this road. They're gonna get lit up by the cannons and all that. The only thing I am thinking about is maybe trying to test out the Williams guns a bit more again. So we're gonna put them in the front. <laughs> Pardon me. And hopefully they're gonna redeem themselves for um, previous debacles in the battle. Uh, I didn't even check which one are, might be the long-range ones. Oh, the needles are on the flank. Okay. Well, pretty. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna um, tune in when we engage. I had to, I mean, I, uh, we waited throughout the whole day, nothing happened, they didn't come closer. So I started moving cavalry, this is the second day now. Started moving the cavalry closer and closer, just to see where the heck the enemy is at. And they've just uh, been stuck up here doing nothing, more or less wavering. So we're gonna bring the cannons up and hopefully, where's the commander, Price? So this is how the army is going to be, three, uh, one division, three divisions we're going to push uh, with cannons behind. I'm also bringing up the Williams guns. Uh, cavalry, thinking about sending it around. Let's send the cavalry around. Uh, but yeah, let's um, position first, I'm going to tune in when we fight. Okay, some orders have been issued. Um, where is the commander of this brigade? Are you moving? Get over there. And uh, we're gonna send uh, this division forward. It's the needle guns. We fourth send um, more needle guns. We're gonna come. Mm. We're gonna march up like this. There's another division. Uh, I don't want to send Sibley up because he's weak. So we're gonna send this division up. And we're gonna take it from here. You guys are gonna be sent to counter battery firing. There's another um, set of cannons coming. I'm moving this division into the woods, um, so Walton's moving into the woods, Douglas is gonna be uh, acting as reinforcements, we're gonna send him in straight away. Cavalry is probably gonna come rushing in um, from the back, we'll see. We do have the Spencers. Uh, and I've sent, where's the commander, should be sent here, uh, so he can send orders both ways. What the heck is he? Oh, no, 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 you go here, you dumbass. Price. What the heck? Uh, oops. 
Didn't I send these scanners? Hmm. Okay, let's send the Williams guns up. This is another set of Williams guns. We'll send them up here. Come on, man. I don't know, dragging these Williams guns behind is um, it's slow. Will they limber up and move? By the way, these cannons are moving up on this side. Okay, let's move in. They will probably retreat immediately. We're gonna attack their flank straight away. They're gonna take forever to get through the woods, but um, let's bring the cavalry closer. Hide them inside the woods, though they uh, then that means they can have to march through. <laughs> They're gonna be committed. Uh, these guards are lying down, so the cannons can actually fire over. At least I hope they can. I'm not sure if they are. Fi ah, they're not firing. Ah, dang it. Okay, we're gonna send this division in as well. Ooh. Long range has opened up. Okay, so they're gonna have to come back, uh, come at us. Second brigade. When they meet our needle guns, they're gonna get screwed over badly. Come on, cannons. Yeah, Williams guns and cannons will probably not even be engaged. But uh, this division is the main one. So Pigram um, is the one that should uh, that's gonna try and fold in on the flank. Now these guys are gonna open up. Losses. 60 losses. Let's move you closer. Let's move this unit in. Oops, they started moving. Oh, they've left their cannons unprotected. Actually moving in. Oh boy, poor horses. First cavalry or dead meat. Okay, our cannons firing. Counter battery, just go fire it with them. Yeah, the Williams guns are kind of meh. Too slow. Firing on, uh, on all cylinders. Cavalry is trying to escape. Second brigade is gonna get hit up pretty badly. Oof, they're gonna take a while. Okay, let's move him up into the woods. Is cavalry on the move. They are awesome. Now I again I expect that the enemy is gonna pull back very quickly. Uh, they're gonna retreat. So they will probably try and get across this bridge. And 50 casualties. Everybody's firing. Cannons are firing. Yeah, they're gonna try and retreat over the bridge. Straight into our needle guns. Yeah, they're gonna be way too slow to get across. Now, if you rush them in, um, they're just gonna be exhausted when they come to the other side, so that's, that's not gonna be a good 
good option to go for. Yeah, okay, that's like, uh, like I said, that's what I was expecting. Okay, let's speed up the time. Sadly, it was a uh, short battle. Oops, Daisy. Order. Dismount. Loose order. Go at them. Double time it. Ooh, we're gonna have to be careful here. Our guns. Okay, I think that's it. I'm gonna fire a few more shots at their flank, but that's gonna be it. Yeah, they're completely fractured. Split. Poor buggers, they're retreating this <laughs> the wrong way. Okay, first brigade has been routed. They're gonna run into this um, unit. But yeah, they did uh, retreat across the river. Five more minutes, they all got routed. 1700 losses, they lost 15 cannons, uh, it was a minor victory, we lost um, less than half of that, not sure how we lost some cannons, but um, yeah, a short battle today, still better than no battle they say. Uh, we've managed to secure the, the, the west now, so it was a pretty important battle. Uh, what can I say, uh, don't forget to comment. Uh, give it a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't yet to, stay safe and stay awesome and see you in the next one.